It's time for Animal News. How did we not have animal news up until this point? We love talking about animals, particularly dogs. Look how patriotic, Oh my god, I want that dog, he's so <laughs> cute. They're cute dogs, but also useful during public health crises. Did you know that dogs are being trained to detect COVID? We got a little video clip that explains it. What happens when they find someone who <laughs> the dogs think might be carrying the virus? There's a part of me that kind of wants to see how that interaction plays out. <laughs> so let's say I'm one of those people. This is one of many steps they have here. You also have to do a system check, but theoretically, we'll pretend I'm standing in line and John, walk us through, show us kind of what, how Cobra would look. Right, you hear him saying souk, that's the cue. If the odor is present at the mask, she would be sitting at this point. Oh. No odor, no sit. So she'll just move down the line of people and will identify whether anyone has the odor on them. So yeah, there's a new study uh, that says that dogs can be trained to detect COVID. They uh, were tested in a, a research study. They accurately identified 97% of positive cases after sniffing human sweat samples. Now uh, that's like an in lab thing in the video clip that we just showed you. They apparently can smell it on masks. And so in an area where it's very crowded and people aren't necessarily gonna be doing testing, even rapid testing, if they can identify some of it, that, that might be very helpful. And if they can detect this, you know, potentially could detect other things too. I know people are worried about monkeypox. I'm sure there'll be future pandemics. Um, anything that gets more dogs out and into the workforce, Adrian, I'm a fan of. <laughs> you know, I can appreciate that. You know, the unemployment numbers among dogs is just way too high. But as far as them being <laughs> able slackers. to detect, exactly. <laughs> But as far as them being able to detect COVID, I, I think it's a great advancement at the same time. I just think of people who are terrified of dogs, like one of my closest girlfriends and the thought of a dog getting that close to you and able to detect it, like it just sounds like her personal <laughs> hell. And so I just think, um, you know, and also what if something else sets off the dog? I, I just, I don't know. I like it. It's cute. It's great. At the same time. Mm -hmm. mm. I like what it. I, it is, it's, there's pros and cons, like there will be more dogs around, which is good, but you know they're not gonna let you pet them. So that's always yes. a bit of a tease. But anyway, while they're still being tested for use in the US, there are some places, airports like in Saudi Arabia, Finland, in the UAE, where apparently they have been used at least in some cases to try to detect this. So. I think that's pretty awesome actually. Also wanted to throw into our animal news segment, a little bit of good news. The number of reported new COVID cases in the US along with COVID deaths appeared to level off over the past seven days. We had been experiencing a rise into what could have been a devastating wave of COVID, but apparently, no, it's leveling off. Good news for everybody. We do have to turn to the bad animal news though. You get good news, you get the bad news. I wanna show you a scary headline. Bison gores a woman who approached in Yellowstone National Park. So that is horrifying, the idea that a woman who just wants to be in a national park would be gored. But that headline turns out isn't the most horrifying way to spin this. This one is Yellowstone's first bison goring in 22 because this happens enough that they're pretty sure it's gonna happen again just this year. These are dangerous animals, these bison, and if you get too close to them, they can freak out and they can attack you. And in that fight, they're probably gonna win. Any thoughts? It's well, no, it's the same thing with dogs and whatnot. Like these are animals, and also these are wild animals. Yellowstone's a national park. Leave these things alone. Coming up, trying to pet it. Mm -hmm. Get the hell out of here. I'd gore you too. Get away from me. I know what human <laughs> beings can do and have done to my habitat. So you better back up. And so, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm a fan of the bison. I wish they didn't gore anybody. Sure, but still, no. Yeah. Yeah, let these animals be. I love the direct dialogue from the point of view of the bison there. But anyway, the, the woman did live, it's good news. She was tossed like 10 feet into the air, which is pretty devastating. And by the way, with these park, with a park where this happened in Yellowstone, they require visitors to remain more than 25 yards from the animal. So I would definitely do that. There's thousands of bison there. Don't mess with them because they can gore you and they can throw you. It would be nice at least that after they throw you, maybe they could give your mask a sniff and detect if <laughs> possibly you have COVID. Come on, dogs are doing it, bison, you're way bigger. But anyway, yes, one of the papers said that she died, that has been corrected. She did not die, so terrible, terrible thing to happen, but she is still alive, which is good news.
For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.